he is also a UN proscribed terrorist. In this regard, we have conveyed a request along with relevant supporting documents a government of Pakistan to extradite him to India to face trial in a particular case. In a bold and strategic move, the government of India has formally requested Pakistan to extradite Hafiz Saib, the mastermind behind the 2611 Mumbai terror attacks. The Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson Arindam Bakchi confirmed the request during a press conference on Friday, emphasizing Saeed's status on a UN proscribed terrorist wanted in numerous cases in India. Um, as you are aware, the person in question is wanted in numerous uh, cases in India. He is also a UN proscribed terrorist. In this regard, we have conveyed a request along with relevant supporting documents to the government of India to extradite him, a uh, government of Pakistan to extradite him to India to face trial in a particular case. I think that is what you were referring to. So yes, uh, we have, uh, we have of course been flagging the issue of activities uh, that he's been wanted for. In this case, you specifically mentioned uh, uh, whether we wanted to extradite him. Yes, there has been a request sent uh, to face trial in, in a particular case. This is a recent request. <laughs> well, I'm file number. <laughs> Just, just a day. Uh, some time ago, some weeks ago, I, I would say. I'd have to check exactly when it was submitted. I have a date of when it was sent. I think our High Commission in Islamabad would have passed it on. But I could try to get you more information. But as I said, um, activities of uh, people who are, uh, you know, wanted in act, you know, criminal or terrorist activities here, we continue to take up these cases with partners to say, in this case, of course, this extradition with Pakistan, where we, we have asked for, uh, where we don't have, a, I think, extradition agreement, but we have requested for him to be brought back to India to face trial. Is this a master stroke by the Modi government? The extradition request is strategically timed, marking another significant move by the Narendra Modi government. It comes at a crucial juncture when Pakistan is striving to enhance its global image and distance itself from the tag of a terror haven. The move adds pressure on Pakistan, emphasizing India's commitment to addressing cross-border terrorism. The extradition request coincides with former Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's recognition of India's growing global influence and technological advancements. Sharif, speaking to members of the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz or PMLN, drew a sharp contrast between India's achievements including lunar exploration and Pakistan's economic challenges. Nawaz Sharif said and I quote, we must acknowledge the advancements India has made in various fields, including technology and space exploration. We need to address our economic challenges and focus on internal reforms. Despite facing legal repercussions in Pakistan, including a 33-year jail sentence in April of 2022 for terror financing, Hafiz Sai has managed to evade punishment for his involvement in the 2611 terror attacks. India's extradition request comes amid concerns over his continued influence, especially with his son, Hafiz Talha Saib, entering the political arena. The extradition request gains significance as Hafiz Talha Saib, considered the number two in the Lashkar-e Taiba or LET and son of Hafiz Saib, is set to participate in the upcoming Pakistan elections. The political front backed by the 2611 mastermind raises concerns about the perpetuation of extremist ideologies within Pakistan's political landscape. India's extradition request for Hafiz Saeed emerges as a strategic move with broader geopolitical implications. It not only addresses concerns related to cross-border terrorism, but also underscores India's proactive stance in the fight against terror. As the diplomatic maneuver unfolds, the international community watches closely, anticipating the response from Pakistan and the potential impact on regional stability. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.